find the style of clothes I like for my kids to be quite expensive, but now that I can make them myself, they can have a wardrobe that is comfortable and functional for them, while also being pieces I love dressing them in. I've seen these summer sets on Pinterest before, and I think they're so cute. I found some patterns that would work perfectly for this project on Etsy. I'll have them linked below if you're interested in taking a look at them. I started with the shorts as they were going to be the harder part and the kids needed them more. I found the shorts to be a little shorter than I wanted them, so I adjusted them a bit by adding some paper and using a pant pattern I had as a reference for the curves. This fabric came already folded, so all I had to do was line up my patterns and pin them. made a mistake with one of the short pieces by pinning it at a slant to save fabric instead of following the grain line and ended up having to cut it out again. the idea of doing contrasting fabric for the shorts leg band, so I cut out the band in this white fabric which goes so nicely with the green. The first step was to do the pockets. I put the pocket front onto the shorts front piece, wrong sides together, and pin them in place. Then I stitched them together. I 
I overlocked the edges to keep them from fraying and gave them a press with my iron. Next, I top stitch twice along the curved edge of the pocket. and then pinned the pocket backs onto the pocket fronts with right sides together. For the curved pocket piece, it doesn't really matter which side is facing which way because you won't see it, but a corner of the back pocket piece will be seen peeking out of the pocket, so that one needs to be facing the right way. Because these stitches will be hidden inside the shorts, I stitched the pocket pieces together with my serger so I didn't have to sew it twice. Then it was time to assemble the shorts. I pinned the front short pieces together and then did the same for the back short pieces. Then I stitched them together, overlocked the edges, and gave them a good press. I put the short fronts onto the short backs, right sides together, and pin them at the crotch and either side. Then I stitched them together.
marked all the edges and pressed them out with my iron, pressing the side seams towards the back. Now it's time to add the leg bands. I folded them in half, right sides together, and pinned them in place. Again, I used my serger to stitch them together and then folded them in half to make a cuff. I press them with my iron to keep the fold in place. Then I flipped the shorts inside out and put the cuffs inside the shorts and pinned them together, matching the seam of the cuff with the inner leg seam of the shorts. Then I stitched them together, overlocked the edges, and pressed them with my iron. The last step was to do the waistband. I cut a piece of elastic that matched the kids' waist measurements I had taken and put it aside. Then I got my waistband piece and folded it in half with right sides together like I did for the leg band and pinned them. Then I got my elastic and stitched the ends together using a zigzag stitch so the stitches wouldn't break when the elastic is stretched. I surged the waistband edges I had pinned together and then came one of the hardest parts of putting the elastic and the waistband together. I started by folding the elastic in half and putting a pin in either end and then doing this again between those pins, basically pinning it in quarters. I 
I did the same for the waistband. Then I put the elastic inside the waistband, matching up the pins, and pinned them together. I added pins in between those pins by stretching the elastic so it was flush with the fabric and putting a pin in the middle between the other two pins. I did this one more time between those pins, ending up with 16 pins evenly spaced out around the waistband. Then I stitched the elastic and the waistband together, stretching the elastic with both hands as I went, but being careful not to pull or push the elastic through the machine. All that was left to do was to attach the waistband to the shorts. I again pinned the waistband in quarters and then I matched each of those pins with the side, front and back seams on the shorts. I did the same thing again as with the waistband, adding pins between those pins, but this time I only did it once, ending up with 8 pins instead of 16. Then I stitched them together. stitched in the middle of the waistband and then overlocked the edges and pressed it with my iron.
I was done. I love the contrasting fabric of the shorts. It is so cute. And though I did make a few mistakes along the way, I'm overall very happy with how these turned out. They're going to look so good with a matching top. I can't wait to get the tops done and see the kids running around in these. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would love it if you would give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss part two, where I'll take you along as I make the tops for these matching summer sets. I'll see you then.